Hello everyone, welcome to another student actuary vlog. Today is Saturday. It is already Saturday afternoon. The morning flew by, unfortunately, because I've got so many things to do this weekend. I could do it a little bit more time to get things done in, but that's the life I lead. I've signed myself up for stuff. I need to learn to not overcommit and sign myself up for too much stuff. So really, any stress I have this weekend is my own doing. But I'm talking quite vaguely here, so let's start this vlog with a catch up. It's been about a month since I sat my exam, so about a month since my last vlog. As I hinted at at the end of my last video, workload was piling up with client projects and as expected I've had quite a few busy weeks at work where I've just felt behind on everything. But this week, the week just gone, I feel like I've finally got a grip on everything. A few projects got wrapped up and we sent off the final report. So I feel like I've come out the other end of it, which is good. But while that was all happening, my house was a reflection of my mental state. It was an absolute mess. It was actually embarrassing. Upstairs is still embarrassing actually, which is why I'm not starting my vlog up there. I have been running around the morning and I feel so much better. Like I've picked up everything off the floor. I've wiped down all my countertops. I've run my dishwasher. I've emptied it and reloaded it. I feel so much better this morning, honestly. So what's next? Why do I have a busy weekend? Well, I've got two speaking events in the next two days, which I will tell you more about as the vlog goes on, but I'm going to be speaking to university students at both of them, so I need to prepare for those. And then also I've got a hair appointment today, you know, priorities, which I'm about to head off to very shortly. And I have got a piece of sponsored work with a brand, which I need to film this weekend. And finally, I'm going on holiday next week, which I am so excited for, not complaining about at all, but I have not done any thinking as to what I need to do to prepare, booking taxis to the airport. Basically, I really need to focus this weekend to get everything done. I thought it'd be a fun few days in the lead up to going on holiday, so that's why I have decided to vlog. Come join me. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like, subscribe, and let's get going with this fun but busy weekend. Woo. Let's just have a moment for the downstairs area actually looking tidy-ish. Ignore the desk area, but look at this. Tidy kitchen. The laundry has been done. This is the product of three loads of laundry. I actually need to restart the tumble dryer because I put that off to film the intro to my vlog. Just to keep it real. <laughs> This is the state of my bedroom right now. Please forget you ever saw this. Thank you very much. I'm working on the illusion that I'm all put together, but sometimes these things happen. <laughs> so the plan for this haircut is I'm thinking resting on the shoulder a fair amount off because I haven't had a cut in ages and it's too much maintenance when it's this long and this thick. So I've got some photos to show the hairdresser. To be honest, I have struggled a bit with hairdressers in Cambridge. I've not found a regular one yet, despite living here for like six years or something crazy like that now, maybe five. But the one I'm going to today has really good reviews and I'm coming prepared with what I want. Fingers crossed it turns out nicely. I'm walking today and not cycling, which is unusual, but basically when I was cycling home from work yesterday or the day before, my handlebars were just wobbling around a little bit and it did not feel safe. So I don't want to get back on my bike until I've had a look at that. I have limited tools at home, but I also don't want to look stupid taking it to the bike shop only for them to like tighten one screw. So I am going to look at it this afternoon. And across the road there is Fitzbilly's. Very good coffee shop, recommend. There is Mainsbury's up there. And then we have bikes for days. All the undergraduate students moved back to Cambridge about a month ago, so the town centre is even more packed these days than it was over summer. It gets very busy at the weekends. Hair is done! 
now I need to head downstairs actually to recycle some contact lens wrappers. Exciting. And also to pick up my glasses because my prescription has changed. I'm finally updating them to my actual prescription. So hopefully I should be able to see better when I get them. I've got my contact lenses in right now. Long story short, to the opticians. I'm walking home up the only hill in Cambridge. Actually much nicer walking this than cycling this. It looks shallow, but honestly, it takes my breath away while cycling. Popped by Sainsbury's as well to get some oil. And now I'm just gonna work at home for the rest of the day, I think. Probably should have got my hair done last weekend when I actually had a party. Actually, I'll insert some photos here actually of the party last weekend because it was really good. It was Barbie themed because it was Ed's birthday. It's 25th birthday, so everyone was dressed up in pink. It was very, very fun. But this weekend is a bit of a quiet one. I don't have time to socialise this weekend because there's so much other stuff to do. But it was very nice seeing all of my university friends. Eight out of the ten of us who all lived together in third year were present at the party last weekend. So it was a good showing, a good reunion. Right, I've got my tools and now I'm going to go try fix my bike somehow and just make it safe to ride. Really, that's the goal. It did lose its front basket the other day. So I'm wondering whether taking that off has contributed to the now unsteadiness of the front handlebars which are kind of rocking from side to side there's the front basket sitting there waiting to get a new attachment it has developed a few holes though so i reckon i could treat myself to a new one here we go so the issue is this i don't know if you can see but it is rocking and i do not want that rocking that feels wrong so maybe this one needs tightening And while I'm here, I'm gonna pop this on. Pick this up at second year freshers fair, so it's lasted a good long time. Thank you, Bills. Well, I would say that was fairly unsuccessful. I tried, as you can see from the state of my hands, but I just couldn't seem to tighten any of them. Like, I'm not sure any of the screws budged at all, but it's still wobbling about as if one of them is loose. So I don't know whether it's just that they're jammed. There is a lot of rust there now. Maybe I need to take it to a bike shop. I don't know. I should probably use this as a sign that I need to get a new bike. I've been meaning to for a while. As you saw in town, loads of bikes in town. Cycling is the way to get around Cambridge. I love my bike. I use it regularly. The cost per year use is not that much really if I was to get a new bike because I would use it the whole time. I'm just put off by the level of bike theft around here which is still really bad. There is a community group that helps look out for bike thieves and retrieve stolen bikes but it can only do so much. I'm sure I see at least five posts a day about a bike being stolen on Facebook and that's only counting the ones that people are actually posting about and the police just doesn't have capacity to investigate every single bike theft so if your bike gets stolen it it's kind of tough luck. That's, I think, why I've been dragging my feet a little bit with getting a new bike, but I'm not sure I could continue with my current one either. It was a cheap one. It was always supposed to be a temporary one that I got almost two years ago now when my old bike got stolen. It was supposed to be a filler. I do actually need to get myself a decent bike that is solid enough for my regular commute. So that's on the list for maybe in the next couple of weeks to think about. <laughs> I've just realised I forgot to have lunch and it's now six o'clock. If that doesn't sum up how preoccupied I've been today, I don't know what does. Anyway, having a quick pepperami snack and I'm gonna make dinner fairly soon anyway. And I'm just getting to it with all my planning on my laptop for my upcoming events in the next few days, which I'll talk to you guys about later. <laughs> Hello, so <laughs> this is the current setup. I am chilling on the sofa, actually concentrating on the planning now. I feel like I was a little bit more focused on Strictly Come Dancing than the event planning to start off with, but it's still only nine o'clock and I've just realized the best news ever. 
do you want to deliver the news to the vlog that you just messaged about? You've got an extra hour in bed. You? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not realise that? No, I was just sitting here wishing for more time and then your <laughs> message came through telling me that I had indeed got more time. <laughs> I suddenly thought, I bet Paige doesn't realise, and I thought you're going to arrive an hour early tomorrow. No, that wouldn't have happened. My phone would have adjusted itself, but nah. I would have spent the extra hour sleeping. But we're not going to spend the extra hour sleeping. No, no. Mm. We're going to spend the extra hour planning. Exactly, exactly. And getting all your jobs done. Morning, everyone. So I'm just about to head out. It is almost 10.30, and I'm going to Jesus College. Woo! This is basically the first event that I was talking about. There is a careers speed networking event going on today. Basically 10 college alumni, including myself, are going back into college and we're gonna rotate around different groups of students and talk about our careers and any advice we have for them. Obviously I'm only three years out of university, so I'm still quite fresh into my career. So I'm hoping I can offer that here are your immediate next steps perspective. I can represent the actuaries out there. And honestly, it's just always a pleasure to be back at Jesus College. We've got the speed networking, which lasts just under two hours, and then a buffet lunch with the master of the college, Sunita, and all of the other alumni who are coming back to speak. So it should be a really nice morning. I'm gonna head there now because the speed networking starts at 11.20, I wanna say. So let's go. Oh my God. Roadworks. This is why I left early. They asked me if I needed a parking space in college, to which I said yes and felt very much like an adult requesting a parking space. I did consider cycling, but given the state of my bike right now, which is still broken, I'm quite pleased that I requested a parking space. And while we do this little drive with me, I might as well explain to you guys what the event is that I'm going to tomorrow. So, I'm working in London tomorrow as normal, but in the evening I'm going to LSE, London School of Economics, and speaking at their Actuarial Society. And for this one, I actually need to prepare a 45 minute talk or something between 45 minutes and an hour, which is slightly daunting because keeping people engaged that long is no easy task. I did realize last night though that I do already have a lot of the material that I'll need for a talk. My idea is basically to focus it on my actuarial journey to date because it's basically speaking to actuarial sciences students who are wanting to become full-time working actuaries. And so they're people who are a few years behind me but have also had the the good forward thinking to do an actuarial sciences degree which means they're going to get a lot more exam exemptions than I did. So I want to talk through kind of my journey and the things I've learned along the way which I would then advise people to do if they're starting from scratch now. I've talked about this a lot already on my YouTube so I've got so many notes from old videos and Instagram content that I can definitely put into this talk. It's just a case of ordering it and I also need to make some slides and I need to send off the slides by this evening, that's the deadline. Between yesterday evening and this morning I have actually pretty much got the outline of my talk in place. If I had to do it now I could probably wing it and get through but it would be nice to have some slides to give it a little bit of structure, a little bit of visuals going on you know. So that's what I need to do this afternoon. It is so weird to think that there is a whole new generation of Jesus College students now. No one who is studying there as an undergraduate right now was there as an undergraduate when I was a student there. Like there's been a full turnover. It's been three years since I graduated. Absolute madness. Time flies. Like I've been out of uni for longer than I was in uni. Now it's a different era. <laughs> And I was just thinking to myself this morning, like, how mad have you told little Paige that she'd be going to events and being invited back to events at a, a Cambridge college? It still blows my mind I even went to Cambridge, let alone get invited back. Hi, I'm here for a speed networking event in the web library. Bingo, we are in. And oh my God, these gates opening into college just gives me flashbacks to moving in as a student here. I'm driving up this driveway. Oh, it's so nice to be back. And I'm on time, I'm on time. Everything is coming together this morning. Pretty much outside my old chapel court room. I feel like we've leveled up. I've got a job and a car now, people. 
beautiful looking out over the sports pitches i love it i'm looking at the sports pitches only college to have all its sports pitches on site people that's why it's the best i'm just going to quickly look over my notes for five minutes to remember what i'm actually supposed to be telling people about today and then i'm going to head over to the web library which has featured in my vlogs many times before it's above where the roost cafe is the location of many drinks receptions in the past Okay, so that is the event done. It is, oh my goodness, past half past two. So it took a little while, but I was having a nice chat at lunchtime and chatting to current students. And oh, it's just so nice being back, you know. Spoke to the master, Sunita, spoke to a few other alumni about what they were doing. I was the youngest one there, <laughs> as expected, only graduated three years ago. Actually, no, that's a lie. There was someone who graduated last year, I think. And basically, I had a chat with a load of students. I felt like I talked quite a lot, but they all came prepared with questions. So that was good. And learn a bit about them and what they're doing it's mostly second year students i spoke to actually which is probably quite a good time to think about careers when there's still the opportunity of internships after second year of university and that sort of thing so out of the other alumni there one was a solicitor another was on the civil service fast stream another one ran an education consultancy so there was like a real mixed bag of people students wise as well very mixed bag of degrees i spoke to people doing languages to people doing sciences to someone doing music so I'm not sure if I've convinced any of them to be actuaries, but that wasn't really my goal. My goal was to more relax them about that uni to work transition, which you know what goes all right. There is life after university. A lot of them were asking about my social life and I was like, yeah, I think I still have a social life. I hope I still have a social life. Being a young professional ain't so bad. University is pretty fun and Cambridge is a pretty awesome experience, but I've been having a great time since then as well. <laughs>